in last video we discussed about mars in the sign of aries today we are going to talk about what happens when you have moon into the sign of aries so keep watching namaste and welcome to brahmanic astrology channel i'm your host prasad mahajani help you raise your vibrations and become your true self with the help of vedic astrology and if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing you'll be getting vedic astrological videos just like this one <music> moon in the sign of aries what is moon moon is queen in a celestial cabinet sun is the king who is the guiding force behind the soul sun gives the guidance to the soul the individual guidance as to how one should behave one should behave in a kingly manner it is the guidance for the soul and individual but when it comes to moon moon is the social face of this king when you have a well placed and well dignified and a strong healthy moon it usually shows you can relate to people quite easily you have the ability to connect with people with compassion love compassion empathy all these can be seen with the moon moon signifies mind sun signifies soul moon signifies mind mind has the desires so it is the ultimate source of karma okay moon is all about the desires we have desires we have opinions and we have the relativity we can relate to different things we can relate to different things and then we can choose we can relate to it connect to it like okay i like these things i like to go out in nature i don't like to sit at home i just compared these two activities with my mind and i have the relative inclination towards going into the nature as against sitting into the you know sitting in the room so these two relativity and other other person may have the uh, inclination towards sitting in the home and that's perfectly fine it's the mind which relates it's the mind which has that subjective inclination and a relative um, inclination towards the certain activities and moon is the guiding force behind this moon is the source of emotions we have certain emotions towards these things which really guides us to take the action so emotion can also be seen with the moon and one of the important signification of moon is moon is fluctuating you can see that from the new moon to the full moon and from the full moon to the new moon moon is always fluctuating and it has its impact into our mind so our mind is also fluctuating all the time so yes fluctuation is also one of the signification of moon moon is all about the nurturing your feelings and your nurturing can also be seen with moon the condition of moon if you have a healthy moon you have the compassion and nurturing approach towards those who needs it like those who want it you have so much love to share you have so much compassion you have so much motherly love to share with people that's what moon is moon has that ability to share the motherly love with people this love is not like a venusian love this is not a jupiterian expansive wisdom this is not the duty of the saturn to work towards those who are in need no this is altogether a different level of love this is a motherly love which is you know which is about the nourishment and it can come into many different manifestations 
So we'll talk about that maybe in some other videos. We are talking about moon into the sign of Aries. What is the sign of Aries? Aries is the first sign. Aries is the male sign, individualistic sign and is ruled by Mars, which is disciplined, which is like the soldier, which is the celestial commander in chief of the king's son who will go out and, you know, will follow the orders of the sun. Moon is about your emotions. Okay. And Aries is the individualistic sign which is ruled by Mars, which is like a soldier. Right. And Aries is the sign which is all about the freedom and the new thoughts. Aries sign is open. Aries sign, Aries sign likes to explore things depending upon the planet in the Aries sign this freedom this manifestation of the freedom and you know new thoughts will will uh, differ like the new thought of person with the Venus in the Aries sign will differ from the person having Mercury in the sign of Aries or Jupiter into the sign of Aries. But this Aries environment is all about the new thoughts. It, it provokes the new thoughts and new ideas to come into life. It's the sign of creation. It is one of the cardinal signs. It is the fire element sign. Fire element sign is intuitive and is about the creation. The cardinal signs are the signs which bring in change. These are the signs which which you know starts something if you look at your chart one four seven ten are the kendra houses kendra rashis so one four seven ten is the foundation of your chart from the natural horoscope one four seven ten signs houses are the foundation which really holds your chart together so they always say that you have to have more planets into the kendra this gives the stability to the chart as against planet in some other houses okay so yes now moon comes into the sign of Aries moon the has three nakshatras the nakshatra of Ashwini Bharni and Kritika when moon is into the sign of Aries the first pada of Aries it becomes Vargottam into the second pada it gets exalted and into the fourth pada it becomes the uh, own house into the namancha so the aries ashwini does great job and when it comes to bhani and kritika they are more about the uh, deities they will work according to the deities but yes vargottam exalted and own house is into the uh, nakshatra of Ashwini into the first pada, third pada and fourth pada. Not third pada, second pada and fourth pada. The, the soft motherly love planet comes into the rash and you know individualistic sign of Aries. So these people they are individualistic and they only are you know, I won't say self-centered, but their opinion matters to them most. Their freedom matters to them most than any other thing. This is moon. This is about compassion. But the Aries environment makes these people, you know, follow their own rule rather than, you know, following the established rules. So the freedom part of it is manifested in this fashion. The planet of the femininity comes into the sign of masculinity. Aries is the masculine sign. Aries is the fire element sign, which is all about the self and enterprising ability and, you know, the courage, freedom, all those martial things. Now, the, the planet of femininity and compassion comes into the sign of Mars. So these people value their freedom these people value their self these people 
Now, see the, the planet which is required for the social relatability is connected with the self. Okay, so these people are, you know, self-centered. And they won't listen to anybody else. And on the lower side, it can also uh, increase into the ego. Quite possible. Okay, but this freedom, they can use it to their benefit. Like these are the people who will travel a lot because they want to explore things. And that brings me to my next point. The planet of the emotions and desires comes into the sign of ambition and individuality, freedom and martial things. Now these people are ambitious, desirous, and they want to experience life. They always are looking for the different life. They don't like the monotonous life. They want the new experiences. They, they are so ambitious and desirous that they want to experience life. So yes, this was moon into the sign of Aries as much as I could hold, grasp and share with you guys. If you are new to my channel and if you are new to Vedic Astrology, go to my channel, go to the playlist page and go to the playlist how to get started into Vedic Astrology or you can start your journey with Rahu Ketu through houses or planets through houses or you can just go to the playlist and start exploring the fascinating world of Vedic Astrology and if you have any question add me on Instagram at Pramanic Astrology sending you tons of positive energy sending you high vibrations see you in the next videos love and peace